Hi everyone. Good morning to all of you in Scotland, but also um, welcome to all the people who are watch watching Ornish vlogs. Um, today I am in East Lothian, Newington, and today's vlog is about um, pre-foraging um, products or pre-spring products and the idea is to look and see where what progress have been made in terms of growth of some of these products our fresh produce I would say at the moment I'm thinking about for the Newington area I'm thinking about wild garlic wild leek and ground elder the berries won't come into play until about summer so chances are a separate video will be done regarding um, pre-summer products for raspberry blackberry and then later on autumn by god's grace for things like elderberry etc but today um the focus is on checking the Newington area, different locations in the Newington area for how, just to get an indication how far some of the, I would say, fresh produce or prospective forage produce are in terms of growth and so forth. So firstly, I'm thinking about wild garlic. This area is known for its wild garlic and at this stage, I'm expecting to find wee shoots of it. In a, in a previous vlog, I did wild leek at the Little Franz Park in Edinburgh, that's near the Royal Infirmary. And as you see in that video, there were small shoots of wild leek. Chances are I might be able to see some or not, I don't know. But for sure, wild garlic would be pronounced i can't say for sure how large they'll be at this stage but generally generally it should be ready by the first week in march or the last week in february the leaves will be, will be about small to medium size they come into fit, um, full fitness by april the, the last week in april second to last week in april before they start to flower but this series of vlogs will just to give you an indication what these plants look like before they mature so the three things I'm looking for in the Newington area here we are Newington for all um, the subscribers are those visiting the Einish, um vlog on YouTube I'm looking forward to to, to um, investigate the growth of wild garlic wild leek and ground elder so journey along with me and it's such a glorious day to be here exploring in East Lothian and I did say in the previous vlog that if there are people in like East Lothian probably Preston Pan, Seton Sands, Long Nidre, etc., and even not Berwick and so forth. If you know of any area that's used for foraging, like for wild garlic and so forth, please let me know. If you're in West Lothian and you're watching this vlog, please let me know also if you have any um, areas for foraging for wild garlic, ground ella, and wild leek. And also the same for Mid Lothian, in, including. Gorebridge, um, Dalkeith, etc. S Bank also, yes. So please keep me posted. I'm sure someone mentioned that I was um what's in it? It's not Pen Caitlands, it's it's got another name. Pennycook, yes. They've got wild garlic in that area. So I'll do a separate vlog when I do mid Lothian, but at this stage I'm in East Lothian. If I if the weather holds up, which it should, today is supposed to be sunny, I might pop down to Preston Pans and Seaton Sands. 
um, but it depends on how long I end up staying in this area maybe the closest the best would be to go just across um, the main road on that side to Armistan because there are also foraging areas over that side too so I'll see how far I get today but for now I'm in the Newington area and we'll be exploring for forage potentials that's forage potentials in this area for wild garlic leek what wild leek and ground elder so yes yeah, so i am at the ground elder area for foraging yep and i'm going to show you what it looks like but before I do so I'll give you the translation for the English vegetable grown elder to Oynish which is Sayes. So the translation from grown elder is Sayes in Oynish, yes? So sometimes I can use them interchangeably saying I'm foraging for a grown elder if i use the the word science you know i'm still referring to grown elder because it's oinish the language developing and i'm also using the opportunity to now translate fruit and vegetables from english to oinish so this is the grown elder or science foraging patch in the Newington area no it doesn't mean this is the only bit because this area is vast and along um, road paths in other parts of the woodlands on the other side of the road and deep further down you can find ground ella but I'm just giving you an example of one area I've got with me some water because I'm going to taste it with everything that you forage for it's always good to wash it up first before you cook it or add it to salad ground ellas are great for salads and maybe one great use for it is an alternative to what you used to make pesto so you can make an alternative to pesto using ground elder with whatever special oil you want to use etc so ground elder let me find some ground elder plants here we go this is ground elder ground elder Yes. Brown elder. Sweet, sweet. They are everywhere. Come on. <laughs> so, for all the Scottish um, viewers, do you have grown? I uh, would imagine. You don't have ground elders in your area. Does any of you use ground elders to do anything? What about the vegans, vegetarians? What about the great Scottish chefs? Do you use ground elder for anything? If so, what do you use it to do in Scotland? So we've got another bit of ground elder here. Okay, I'm going to pick. I'm going to find a nice size one to pick and have a taste. That's why I've got the water so I can wash it off before I taste it um, they're just everywhere so I'm just looking I can pick choose and refuse they're quite young now so you wouldn't want to forage for ground elder at this stage it's not worth it but give it another three weeks and you're good to go okay we've got ground elder too more plants I think most of the most of the, the young plants have eight leaves, seven to eight leaves. This one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one's got seven too. 
seems so. Maybe it's between seven and eight leaves on average. Let's take this one. See what it looks like. So, okay. Ground up. Okay, so many leaves. So, medium to dark green. Six. This one's got six. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to rinse it off. Give me a second. Let me give it a, a good rinse before I taste it. My first taste of the pre-spring. Can't take it off with my... Okay, I need to find a way to hold this and unscrew it. There we go. Okay, now so I need to what? Oh, oh, how do I do it now? Let me wash it off a bit. Okay, as my good friend Owen normally said, quality assurance test. Yes, let's have a look at it. Quality assurance test. Mm. Mm. Wow. <sighs> okay, firstly. I guess with all green plants and especially when you're quite tender there's a strong chlorophyll taste obviously because all green plants have chlorophyll but but also so it's a chlorophyll taste but also like a general young plant taste where it's not as potent but yeah, so I describe it. I don't know if I need to come up with a word to describe how particular stuff tastes. I don't know, I've never thought of it. But I'm trying to find an English word for it, but I can't. Oh, I want to describe it. I know, like, if I'm thinking about wild garlic or, or um, leek, I could say it have this garlicky taste. But for grown elder, it's hard to sort of compare it with another plant because maybe my knowledge of plants aren't that great maybe other chefs could compare it with something else but I don't know so I'm struggling to compare it but what's definite is it's got that not strong nor mild taste that medium potent taste wherein if you mix it in with salad it, it creates a nice contrast with something that's citrusy or maybe I wouldn't say lemon I wouldn't use lemon necessarily with with um, grown elder or sias I'd preferably use lime that's what I'm thinking my taste buddy is saying this is what I'll put it with generally not lemon but lime yeah can't find a word <sighs> maybe that's what experimenting is you come up across certain taste certain spell and you can't describe it so you create a word for it at the moment i can't think but i can taste the flavor i just can't describe or compare it to something hmm. some scientists i am eh? well but it really tastes so fresh a tint of earthliness yeah let's <coughs> close this up and keep looking for more sias plants so here we got some more sias plants 
There we go. This we got one, two, three, four, seven leaves. This got seven two. And then we've got this one is is still yet to open fully. These ones too. These ones are very small. Look. Let's keep looking. Okay. Yes, yeah, so let me find oh they're really creating problem. Maybe it's too early. I will find an example. Don't worry, just bear with me. Let me see if I can. Okay, here we go. See? So you can start to see the ground ella um shooting um sprouting up among the, the leaves, the autumn leaves from last year. See? So even though you might not see them now, they will sh they will surely grow through the foliage eventually in weeks to come. You see this one come through already, and here here you go. See it? It's coming through. There we go. There we go. So. Just imagine all around from the path there and between, in between, imagine you've got grown elder underneath all the foliage. Yes, all these autumn leaves. So it means that when I return in March. If, if if not March, maybe the end of February. I want to do the end of February, just to check. But if not the end of February, the beginning of March. Beginning of spring. What I'll be looking for then is that all this foliage, from all this foliage, the ground elder will sprung up nicely and you'll be able to see it covering this region well i wouldn't say cover i don't think it will necessarily cover because there will be other plants growing too but they'll be well pronounced you know there we go Ground elder. so Two things to bear in mind. Firstly, the translation of grown Ella from English to Oinish is Sayes. Right? Secondly, it's an, uh, a spring grown vegetable that will come into, to, to come into fruition, I would imagine, at its best, starting March. Luckily, you might get some by the last week in February, yes? But for now, you wouldn't want to pick them because there's not much to do with them at the moment. They are so tiny. This area is covered with foliage at the moment and it doesn't appear as if much is happening. But we know by, the, by viewing just a few bits of this location, we start to see um, the Sias, a grown Ella, coming through the foliage. Which means that a few weeks from now, this will be a, a lot larger and more pronounced. And then in the future, we do video when they are a bit older and, and not at their best for cons consumption. Maybe for animals, yes, but not for me. So, thanks for, for watching this part of the vlog that have to do with the pre-spring ground elder or pre-spring 
Sayes vegetable, yes? Sayes as in the Oinish for ground elder. In the next video, I'll be taking you to the wild garlic section. I can't recall a wild garlic section in this region, but there's nettle too. <laughs> I haven't even talked about nettle. I call it stingy nettle, but just generally nettle. But that comes into play a little later, definitely. I should have mentioned it, but I leave that now because that comes a little later, yes? But I'll take you to the wild garlic section next. Then I'll give you the translation for wild garlic. So this region in the New Winton area along on the Winton estate, we've got the Sayes or ground elder in English. It's at a stage where it is not been seen much it's there as in the as you can see in this case they are quite small but they haven't fully come through the foliage yet but give it another two weeks and you'll start to see it more prominent when foraging it's always good to forage in area where you've got three to four dominant plants of which one of them is the product that you want to forage for because in this way it's easy to distinguish the leaves um, from one another and in in this area in particular there are three dominant plants um, let me see if I can find another example of, of this Yeah, three to four dominant plants. Okay. So you've got this one. I don't know what this one is. I don't know the name of this one. You've got this and you've got this one. As you can see, the surface of the leaf is different. Then you've got a third. Uh, let me see the, where's the third one I'm trying to. You've got ferns. Luckily, ferns are quite distinguished from it anyway, but <coughs> So that's three and this one four so overall it's five then you've got the sias our wild grown elder so from approximately five the grown elder yeah this way it will be easy for me to identify the grown elder later on because there are not many variety of plants so when you're foraging use that as a way to identify plants when there are the fewer they are the safer it is for you to choose your forage product yeah catch you later